Hey everybody, this is Quinn again. I'm gonna show you guys how I build like my little starter frontline base. Yeah, I use this at all my tra like my trapping zones, or if I'm getting ready to build something big. So here's all our supplies today. We're gonna have there'll be a few more things we built along the way because I'm gonna have to put these forges into place and actually utilize them. So we're gonna get going. Um, See here we've got uh, got a couple forges, double doors, some windows, a bed, uh, some double door frames. Those are going to be interesting to show you what they do with those. Uh, stone foundations, some railings, uh, some stairs, some triangle ceilings, triangle foundations, and some windows, or window walls. So let's go ahead and get things going here today. So. We're going to go ahead and just socket everything like we always do. Well, most of the stuff. There's a few things here I'm going to leave in the box for right the minute because we don't need them quite yet. There's that. And, oh yeah, we're going to use our pillars too. I've got my one pillar in my inventory as well. Um, and these stairs I'm going to do some cool stuff with. You'll be pretty impressed, I think. Okay, so... I'm going to be building right here. This is a nice little view. We can see the little ruined city stuff over that way. It's just over there from us. How about we build a little closer to the ruined city? That might be good. Okay, cool. Let's get rid of these bushes real fast. Why don't we use our sickle? That's a much better idea. Getting rid of bushes fast. Alright, we are pretty good. Nah, we're going to do it over here. Over here was better. It's a little bit flatter. Okay, so, first things first. We're going to set down just a single foundation. This is going to be our front door, where our front door is going to go. Now, this ground is kind of lumpy, so what we're going to want to do, at least what I want to do here, is I'm going to actually lower this foundation. If you remember before, you place that foundation, you put a pillar, put a foundation, take out the pillar. Now, I don't want to go much more than that, otherwise I'm going to get grass showing through, and I don't want grass showing through my floor too bad. So i pick that up. Now, this is a little trick. I'll show you how this goes, like, originally. When you're trying to build these kind of round buildings, you're going to do a whole ring of triangles in the middle. It makes a little hexagon. Now, off the hexagon, we're going to put some just regular foundations. Right? And then we fill those in with triangles. So boom, 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 and boom. Wow, I made just a little short on those triangles. Okay, that's cool. Oh, yeah, because I meant to pick them up. All right, so now we're going to, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to pick up these triangles. I don't want to actually leave them here because we're going to do this really cool little bonfire thing in the middle to give your house kind of some heat and light. And just a place to cook some meat. So we got all of them picked up. Oops, yeah, I did it goofy right there. Put that down. Okay. So I'll pick that up, and then we're going to go stairs. Now, see, we got this problem with the stairs, so I'm going to do this. And remember, we got to, like, kind of, like, sometimes feather the snap points. Let's see. See, that one's going to be a pain, so we'll just work this one down. Sometimes they just don't want to work, so we'll just do down. Down will be good, because it looks like it's going to work with down. And lastly, right there. So see, now we have this little hole in the middle. That's going to be where we put our fire pit. Now, what we're going to do real quick is, like I said, this is going to be where the front door is. So I'm going to go ahead and snap in my stairs real fast so that I have my my staircase leading in. Now we're going to go ahead and stick a double door right here. And then I like to do um, on the triangle walls be my window walls. So all of these triangles we're just going to put windows. There we go. Window, 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 and further window. Did I make my walls or am I a silly, silly person? All my walls, I think, are still in my box. Let me go grab those. I did not make walls. Go me, buddy. So I need six. 
Or no, I need five because one of them is occupied by a doorway. So five. There we go. Now, real quick before I do this, I'm going to go ahead and grab the metal that I have stored on my RG here. Because I have to go ahead and smelt it. Because I'm going to need it. I'm a little encumbered. That's problematic. Okay. Uh, dump the flint. We don't need the flint. There we go. So, up in the house here, I'm going to put wall, 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 and wall. Now, real quick, let's get these. I'm going to put these right here by this wall. Two forges. I'm going to go ahead and set them apart from each other. They don't need to be right on top of each other. Then we're going to split the metal stack, put half in this one, and half in this one. And then we're going to split this too. Put a little thatch in that one, and a little thatch in the other. Like so. Alright, cool. We'll start these up. We're going to get back to those later. They're not important right now. Just getting metal going is what we need to do. So we're going to do these door frames, because these door frames right here are going to actually be a support system for how we're going to do our roof. Oh, I made forgot to make my triangles. That's okay. We'll get to that later. I'll explain that. Okay, so all of these centerpieces are going to go up two. They're going to be too high in the middle here. Because the thing is, is I like to use stairs for roofs, right? But you have to have a wall of some sort to attach them to. So this is how I do it. I got the little staircase coming off of the, the double door. And that creates kind of a roof. It'll give it a really nice effect when it's all done. So going around, you got to flip the points. Because they're going to keep trying to go the wrong way usually when you're placing them. If you see, they kind of try to snap that way, so you gotta turn them around and make them go the other way. And lastly, the actual front door roof. Now, like I was saying here, I made a little goofy and didn't make my triangles, because you gotta have those sloped triangle roofs. Now, these guys, these guys are a pain to work with sometimes. They like to be a little testy, so we're gonna hit a few trees. Get some stone, because I'm going to need some stone real quick. Now I'm setting all this up because there's another project I'm going to be doing where I'm going to show everybody how I build my uh, my big bases, which are built off these round foundations, but I build them a little bit, like, I build them big and I do like these really cool staircases and stuff, and everybody wants to see me do them, so what we're going to do is we're going to do kind of a series here on the channel of that build process. Okay, there we go. We got our triangles, so let's go back over. So I'm also going to be showing you guys how I furnish this whole house, too. Now, these little triangle ceilings, they like to be silly. And it looks like they're going to be a go ahead and behave themselves right now. So what they'll try to do is they'll try to snap down on you every once in a while. And that really just goofs up the works. So. And last there. Oh, see? Did you see it go snapping down for a second there? That's the goofy stuff it does. So now we got this little kind of yurt design going, which is really cool. Now, I like to finish off the roof with just regular triangles. grab those now because now we're ready for the windows and the doors and the bed and, and the uh, the railings da, 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 da. sorry that little weight there and lastly my railing Oh, 
Okay. So, back over to the house. We're going to put these old safety rails. Safety rails save lives, okay? Now, I don't know if anybody knows about this. This is kind of a general building tip, but switch to block. You see the foundations right now here on the outside? They've got this weird kind of wonky look. If we switch them to block, they'll match the wall. So I'm going to go around and do that real quick. Switch to block, switch to block, switch to block. Boom! And this one, switch to block. Alright, so all the blocks have been switched. Look at that. That matches up a lot cleaner, a lot nicer looking. So, And then these triangles, we just stick them up here. Alright, so there we go. We got that ceiling done. Now, I was talking about this little campfire thing here. This is really cool. Now, I came up with something. This was literally, I just came up with this last night. I was looking at it, and I'm like, wow, why didn't I think of this sooner? So you put your campfire down here in the bottom of the pit, right? Then, what you can do is you can take triangles, and we put them in different corners like this. You see he's got this little, little up spot, right? You can still access the campfire, but what you can do because they don't fit very well is you can put a cook pot right on top so you can get two items into this small space let's see if we can get it to do it it's a little bit grumpy when I want it to get sit in a certain way but like this look like that so now you got a cook pot sitting above the campfire and you're not utilizing any like greater amount of space but it's all still accessible and it doesn't look too bad I think I think it looks pretty cool Okay, so we got that. Let's put the door on. And if we're lucky, when we get done with putting all these doors and windows on the building and putting the bed in, uh, what we'll have is we'll have metal ready for the next piece where we build our, our forge and stuff. So, here's our bed. Right there, we're going to stick that along that wall. I like to only put stuff against these solid walls. I like to keep the windows open. It's just it's just it's not really important, but it looks nice. Oh look, we got plenty of metal ready. Look at that. In the few minutes we've been dealing with all the stuff, we got the metal. So now we're gonna build a smithy. Now as this is Prim Plus I'm playing on, we're gonna do a construction bench as well. construction bench those are all good so construction bench we're gonna stick it right here um, well actually no it doesn't matter it doesn't matter where we put the construction bench and the smithy they just have to be on two of these walls just one of them okay and we're gonna go to the construction bench now that we got that set up I'm gonna put in some stone and wood now this is one of those cool structures from Prim Plus we can build hand mills these do things a little bit faster than a normal uh, mortar. They cost a lot less. They're just stone and wood. But they also have twice the space. We're going to do just a couple. A couple of them is just fine. So we've got those, those, those. We're going to put this here. And there. So we got hand mills as well. Now the only other thing that I would possibly suggest sticking in here, um, being a, if you're using it for taming, would be a uh, preserving bin, which is pretty nice. Um, just so you have a place to store your meat when you're out here. Because I don't know, you know, if you're going to be playing on a server that's got a high spoil time or a low spoil time or what your spoil timer is going to be, but. Just one little preserving bin. Oh, look at that. We stuck that in there. All kinds of crappy. Pick up. That That looks bad. That looks bad.
Boom, there we go. That's fine, that's fine. I can live with that. But yeah, see, we've got forges. We've got basically everything you need to repair tools and be able to make the repairs needed um, on hand. you got a place where you can make a little bit of food, keep yourself fed, possibly get a little warmth down here, because, boom, you can actually access that right there. See, boom, fire. See, it's nice and warm in here now. But it's not a bad-looking little house. I'll be using it here pretty soon for that video series I said I was going to do. But at this point, we finished up that build. That's a nice little house. It's nothing fancy, but it looks clean and it's not a cube. Which we can always be happy it's not a cube. But at this point, I want to thank everybody for watching here. Uh, if you do enjoy this video, definitely leave a comment and uh, subscribe. I would appreciate it always. And, you know, if you want to actually play with us, you can always visit us on Twitch. My name is Quinock. Um, but I want to thank you and have yourself a great day. I'm going to go ahead and fly off into the sunset now.